Crap, I better pick them all up before they disappear. <laughs> welcome, welcome guys. It's Black Griffin here, and welcome back to episode number 19 of our Iron Man Progress series. Today, the grind begins. No longer will we be wearing this crappy, cruddy, whatever it's called, glory, that's the one. We're going to try and upgrade to a Amulet of Fury. We'll be needing 85 crafting to actually craft the bad boy, along with an Onyx, which I'll have to figure out how to get. Don't worry, we won't be going straight to 85 just this episode. I'm going to try to spread it out a little bit and also do some bossing in between when I get bored for breaks to keep you guys entertained. So expect a lot of crafting, Sara bossing, wilderness demi-bossing, who knows what, we'll do the lot. So the next few episodes should still be quite entertaining even though I'm doing a long, horrible grind. But to start off this episode, I actually recorded too many clips last episode, so I'll be putting them in the beginning of this episode to catch you guys up on my levels. As you can tell, they're a bit further than they were last time. And then we'll begin the Fury grind. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. Yee! <laughs> I'm really not. Kill my character now. Whoa! Whoa! Was that for an imp? Oh my Jesus. Yep, imp. I've never had one of these before. I think I've had them or seen RS3 back in like years ago. But oh! Yes, first champion scroll. I'm really happy with that. <clears throat> for a while I'm here, better use my imp champion scroll or my imp box. Jokes. And um, the reason I'm here, I'm getting out of canonical keys for um, Sara Boss. But um, yeah, interesting. He comes up with a massive message. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, let's put a smile on my face for no reason, but it has. Some people have butterfly collections. I have a collection of severed imp hits. Dazzling. Right, we start a bossing off here at Crazy Archaeologist. Woo! -hoo! I am so determined to finish this damn boss off. All I need is that Odium Shard, so I'm gonna... Oh my, Jesus Christ, get out of my way. So all I need the Odium Shard, I really want to get it. <laughs> I might just stay here until I get it, now not really. I've got a limited amount of death runes, and that's definitely the fastest way to kill this geezer. So I'm just hoping for an Odium Shard ASAP, and well, wish me luck. <laughs> There we go, guys. For 83, can I just get the message? Oh, no, I interrupted it. Uh, 83 magic is coming in there, guys, which is a really nice level for me. I can now get Teddy Tabs to Barrows, making Barrows even quicker, like insanely quick, if I spend a lot of time making, obviously, the Teddy Tabs, which I do plan on doing, because um, it just makes Barrows a lot less stressful, because I hate it so much. so frustrating. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's a really good level coming in there. So uh, I guess let's go back to Crazy Archaeologist. <laughs> well, that's the end of my first trip. I killed about... Only 13. Didn't get a lot, to be honest with you, so let's go again. Wish me luck for Odium, god damn it. It's another trip done, killed 12 this time around, and I got myself the Emerald Drop. Yes! Still no damn Odium, so I'm going to come back again and again and again and again and again until I run out of deaths and probably still don't have it. Grand. And that is a 16th kill trip. 16 kill trip, even though you make sense. Got myself Hard Clue Scroll during that trip. It's the loot, so let's go crack open that uh, Hard Clue Scroll uh, casket. Let's see if we get luckier than here, God damn it! That was a long clue consisting of two puzzle boxes, so it better be worth the reward. Please. This game is testing my patience. And I'm back at Sarah Godwar's dungeon. Hurrah, I've missed this lovely lady. Oh, hello, Commander Ziliana. Welcome back. I mean, <laughs> welcome me back with kind arms. Oh, what am I chatting about? What an elegant lady you are. So I'm back here to do a few more kills because I actually quite enjoyed doing the Sara boss. Plus I really want that Sara Diamond Sword. So please, please, hopefully, my luck changes here because it's been pretty bad recently. So wish me luck. Here we go. Here we go. Zillion, I kill number 12 for the... Potions. Thanks, game. Zilliana kill number 13 for the... Renal Seed, serious? <sighs> Zilliana kill number 14 for the... Coins, yay. Zilliana, whatever her name is, died, and it's the 15th time I've killed her for the Rune Plate Skirt, joy. Whoa, that was close. Second trip. First, second kill this trip, and I literally died there. Jesus, round of energy right at the end. Got myself laws for my efforts. Thanks, game. Ziliana kill number 17, I think this is. I have no idea. For the coin stack. <laughs> Ziliana kill number 18, I think. For the, please like nice, <sighs> potions. Two trip kill. Kill number 19 for something juicy, please. Please drop your sword. Drop your sword. 19k coins. <laughs> Ziliana kill number 20. For, please be lucky. Armed or play body. Armadil? <laughs> I wish. Adam and Playbody. 
I decided to take a break from doing a bit of Sora bossing for now. Um, recently, an update came out that enabled Iron Man to finally get the anglers out of it. My god, who the hell voted for that, hey? <laughs> Me. Anyway, out of time of release, on day of release actually, I couldn't bother to record any clips, so I just sat and uh, thought I'd AFK something different. So I thought, I might as well AFK to this controller, because you never know, I'm going to need the out anglers out of it eventually. So I might as well just AFK to it now when I can't bother to record. So AFK to it, and it actually took me 70 trips to get the full set. Usually on average it should take about, I think it was 36 trips. So probably about double the amount of trips that you should have taken it took me. Usually it takes someone 6.5 hours to get. It took me 14 bloody hours. Got my last piece on the 70th trip. So that's what I did for a while, AFK that, got the full Angler's outfit, which is what I'm wearing right now. So I have achieved the full Angler's outfit. Some of you probably already knew from watching my fishing trawler parody guide. It's a great video, check it out. Even though it took me a very long time to get, which I'm quite upset about to be honest with you. Um, I actually did get quite a lot of sharks, got 1.5k sharks, I think it was, raw sharks. So that's definitely a boost to the bank. Meanwhile, in Black Griffin's garden. 67 farming coming in guys, bosh, and 68 farming coming in guys as well, looking pretty good now, I can now do palm trees, so my experience can come through like crazy, oh! and 78 fishing coming in, also 78 cooking, look at that massive XP drop, 10k, 69 farming coming in guys, it probably seems like I'm getting all these farming levels in about 5 minutes time, bet you're all jealous, the power of editing hey. This is going to be a sight to behold, guys. Get ready. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, so many, so many farming. <laughs> Literally, I set myself like a mini goal recently to get 70 farming, and I've got it. It just looks great. It kind of is like a little mini milestone. It's quite high level on my man. 70 farming. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh. Just got myself 79 fishing, guys. The reason why I'm fishing, just to let you know, is because I want to get enough monks to get myself to A to cooking so I can then cook sharks without having to get a boost because it's starting to get a pain in the butt. Um, so I'm just fishing for a little bit while I pass some time and hopefully get that eight cooking soon. Um, okay. It's raining farming levels. Hallelujah. It's raining farming levels, amen. Two farming levels in one trip? Jesus, it's still happening? To be fair, I was on 500 experience left and when I started the trip, so... <laughs> it's a bit unfair to say so, but yeah, two levels in one trip, damn. Oh, I think they give quite juicy experience. Well, they're doing RS3, so I'm assuming they still do an RS2. Old school, that's the one. Now, of all those surplus clips all finished and shown to you guys, I guess now we start the Fury Grind. Yeah, I apologise for that noise. So I'm going to do this whole grind step by step. First of all, I'm going to get myself enough astrals to be able to glass make all my molten glass. I've got 14k to make, so I need about 2.2k astrals to actually do enough spells to actually convert all those. So that's what I'll first be doing, making those 2.2k astral runes with all this PRS i got here. Which I got from Wyverns, i got 31k, so that should help me towards all the runes I'll need in this whole grind in total. So I'll start by making those 2.2k astrals, and then we'll start glass making, I guess. And there we go, guys, got myself, there it is, <laughs> very delayed runecrafting, I forgot. 59 runecrafting, meaning I can now do double cosmic runes. Now once I get round to actually doing the cosmic um, crafting, which would be really, really, really helpful. Double cosmic runes is just like, Mwah! makes things go twice as fast, to use twice less rune, uh, puress, so that'd be great. Um, I've also got myself enough astrals now to actually now glass make, so let's do a lot of glass making and make ourselves 14k molten glass. Hang on, let's have a look what it looks like. Rip. Won't let me without sand in my venery. If you wonder what I'm doing. I'm doing the worst thing in the world right now. <laughs> Basically, I can't, I've had enough of buying sands from Chartership. I know soon they might be an update to uh, make sure every Chartership have their own shop stock kind of thing going on. But until then, I've really come off to uh, buy a shop from uh, Chartership's Hop Worlds and keep doing it because they're almost always bought out. It's ridiculous how people do it nowadays compared to when I used to do it anyway. So I got myself 5.4k buckets so far. I'm buying them all myself and then filling them all myself because I'd rather do that than hop every world and see a zero stock of buckets of sand. Um, I've already done 4k glass making, so I just need to get myself another 4.5k buckets, fill them all up, and then we're good to go. But because this is so much, so, so AIDS, I'm going to take a break and kill a bit of Sarah. And I might even stream it.
Wish me luck for the beautiful loot. Round one. Fight! There we go, Ziliana kill number 21. Hopefully for something juicy. Eh! <laughs> that sucked. There we go, very clutch kill, Ziliana kill number 22. Please don't kill me, donkey. It's not even a donkey, for coins. Oh, so not worth it. Kill number 23 of Ziliana, the whore. <laughs> so that was offensive. For the stash cat, the cat. I can't even talk! Stack of cash. Ziliana kill number 24, finally. Damn it. Let's see what. Nearly choked! Prayer potion. Great. Cheers game. Cheers game. Three of them though. Whoa. But still, I could have done a bit better than that. Kill number 25 of Ziliana. That was the best kill of my life. Look at my resources left. That was insane for the prep. Got plenty of resources and they give me more. Cheers game. Ziliana kill number 27. For something juicy, I'm sure. No. <laughs> Stack of coins. God damn it. Please let me kill her. I'm already gonna risk it and die. No. Look how close she was to death. <laughs> there we go. Ziliana kill number 28. Nearly died myself. Please something nice. Prayer potions. God damn it. There we go. Ziliana kill number 29. I think this is. Who knows. Don't even care anymore. Until I get a Zara sword. That's not a Zara diamond sword. Please. Ziliana kill number 30. Two kill trip. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> Ziliana kill number 31. I nearly forgot the count there. I'm so happy for no reason. For the Grammy ran our weeds. I'm not happy anymore. Ziliana kill number 32. I'm nearly dead. Please don't drop something good. I have to run through and get it. For the prayer potions. I'm going to risk it. No, I'm not. Get me out of it. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what is going on? Zillion I kill number 33, I think this is. <gasps> is it worth even killing the minions anymore? I just got myself a Sarah Dobbin sword. On a level 98 Iron Man. Oh. That was so unexpected, it was unreal. I literally just saw it on the ground. I didn't even see the writing in the, in the chat box. Where is it? 33 Saradomin Sword. I didn't even see it. I'm such a low level Iron Man and I've got myself this. Look at that. I'm actually an Iron Man. I've got one of these. A level 98 combat. I'm sure that's probably not that rare, but it's kind of rare, I'm sure. Look at that. Come on. I've got a boast of about 10 years from this one, hey. Only if I had the pet as well, hey. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> Die, you dumb chicken. Apparently the sword's worth 1.1 mil, so actually was quite a nice drop in general. So I did quite well there. Basically, I went to Saradomin to see if I could snatch a Saradomin sword, and while I was at it, if I got sna snatched anything else as well, more valuable. Now I've got a Saradomin sword, I don't know if there's actually any point in me going back to Saradomin. There is point, obviously, because there's better drops out there, like the hilt and the um, armed or crossbow. That would be the dream. So, and I can kill it, well, efficiently enough to kill it in one kill per trip. So I probably will go back there, just not as often. Like recently I've been keening it out to try to get the Sarah Dominus Sword, and I got lucky enough to get my 33rd kill. So in future, I'll probably do it every once in a while when I get bored and fancy killing her, see if I get luck out even better. Um, and definitely when I get stamina potions, I'll literally keen her out again to try to get the uh, hill or armed or crossbow. So, yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going back there to kill her again. I've got two more keys still to use. I'm just going to use those keys up and then we'll probably call it for a little while at Sarah Domin Boss. Because you never know, I probably could luck out even better still. Really rare chance of that happening, but I could. <laughs> there we go, Zillion kill number 34 coming in, guys. Let's see what we get after our fantastic drop last time. Prayer potions. Couldn't expect it anymore. Zillion kill number 35. For something even juicier than a Sarah Domin sword. Did not call it. Rip. Right, with Zara Domin boss kind of done for now and for this episode, um, I'm not going to kill her no more today. I'll probably kill her more in future, maybe, if I feel up for it. Damn pin. Not that I need to go in my bank. But I thunk, I'm going to think, I thunk, I think. I decided to go kill some crazy archaeologist, persuaded by my uh, stream chat, mainly Steve. Thanks, Steve. Um, we're going to do some crazy archaeologist um, to, I don't know, end the video on with some bossing, I guess. 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully we get that damn Odium piece out and done with the way with. So next episode we probably can kill maybe a bit of Chaos... What's his name? I forget his name. Chaos Fanatic, that's the one. So we shall see how this goes. Hopefully my luck continues after that Saradomin Sword and we get that Odium piece. Except for all the, the choppiness in my stream. Not the Fedora! Not the Fedora! Got myself 12 kills this trip. I probably could do a few more kills, but... Um, I'm back to my stream anyway, so I'm going to leave this place for now. I got myself a fedora, as you see, a few dragon arrows, so I guess it was kind of a nice kind of loot from him, even though I'd rather an Odium Shard, but... Ah, well, got 12 kills. We'll probably have to go back there again soon and hope for that Odium Shard. Please, game, just give it to me. Right, I got myself all the buckets I need to actually finish off my crafting plan, which is obviously to make battle staves and make uh, uncharged power orbs. Uh, I've got enough buckets for that because I want to make 14k molten glass. So got all the buckets, now I'm just filling up all the sand, which can take me for a damn forever. I swear to God, I'm getting, gonna cry inside. During this whole process, if you're wondering how I'm doing it, by the way, I'm teleporting into my house, which is in yellow, and then just run behind the pool, fill up my sand, and then go back into my portal and go to my can of fist teleport portal I've got in there and just stick it all in the bank and then recycle the whole thing. While I was doing this, obviously I was going through my house a lot, and today the update for the um, construction update came out today, which is quite interesting. So I spent 300k and, and made some rooms because I had no rooms whatsoever in my house except for this one and like a couple of bedrooms and like, I don't know, a place where you sit down. So this is my house, it looks very very empty and crap, so let me quickly change it to building mode so you can see which what other rooms are. The reason I'm showing you this is because just to show you kind of my layout on how I want my house to be eventually. So I've got my chapel up there so I could do like Gilded altar eventually. Got two portal rooms to my right and left. And also got myself the glory. Oh, I had my glory hanged up there so I could teleport straight from um, charge, I don't know, doing bones, training prayer to straight to Edgeville if I want to. South is where my study's going to be. So if people want to, if I want to come in here and use my study, it won't be too far from the portal. And to the right will be one treasure room. I plan on having another treasure room over there eventually. Um, but with this update, they also released the ability to move rooms with the stuff already in it. So you can move rooms and they'll be exactly how they are still. So if you really mad, if you had a bed in your room, it won't you know destroy it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I moved a lot of my crap rooms down to the south. So if I quickly open up the interface for that, which is the viewer, here it is. Got myself, I think, my bedrooms down there, uh, my workshop, uh, my kitchen and stuff down here, stuff I don't really care about. Just move it down to the south, which is pretty cool. This is a new interface. And also released a new few new rooms as well, which is pretty cool. Eventually I do want to get the... Um, the altar which change prayer books at the moment I'm not too fussed by that but eventually I would like to be able to change between lunar and um, normal spell books they're probably the only two spell books I'll probably use often um, so to do that I need something to construction to make that room so eventually I'll train construction for that but until then nah anyway back to filling buckets and there we go guys finish filling up all those damn buckets of sand I hate my life. <laughs> With that done, we can now get ourselves enough molten glass to then make enough orbs to get ourselves uh, also craft another 85 crafting for the fury. Obviously, once I've made the battle staves, so that'll be exciting. Plus, my cash stack should be massive. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, this episode was meant to be a lot of fury grinding, but turned out to be more of a kind of a showdown between me and Commander Ziliana. But I'm ha I'm happy with that to be honest with you because I got myself my beautiful Sarah Roman sword this this uh, episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll continue the grind of the theory next episode with making all these into well glass make all these damn buckets and seed weed. Can't wait to see them gone from bank. Although they look really cool with the 10k stacks right next to each other. Mwah. Anyway, regardless, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time for some more Fury Grind and Bossing. I hope you guys are excited as I am. See you guys next time.